Well, you know, when I think about my time with the Rough Riders, for sure the best memory is Joe Whelan's no-hitter in San Antonio. There's no doubt about it. I was so nervous. <laughs> I was more nervous than Joe was with two outs in the ninth inning. an absolutely deathly silent ballpark. There was nobody there. Uh, but for Joe, and certainly for me, I mean, it, it felt like Game 7 of the World Series. It was the biggest moment of both of our careers, more notably his than mine. Uh, and that was, without question, my, my greatest memory during my time with Frisco. What I remember about the no-hitter was Jed Jerko hit a ball that, and San Antonio can play really big, that ballpark. But Jed Jerko hit a ball that was absolutely crushed. All I know, as soon as he hit it, you're like, ah, oh, shoot, you know, and then that, there it goes. But it, the wind was blowing and brought it back in. And Jerko with a hit to left field that off the bat sounded like an explosion. If the wind's blowing probably any other direction like it normally would in San Antonio, from your vantage point, I'd have to think you would say that's a home run. Oh, I, I thought it was gone off the bat. 99.99% of the time, that's a home run. It's the hardest hit ball off of me that has stayed in the park. And I kind of looked and I was like, oh my God. And I see Nooch get, get to the warning track and kind of stop. He didn't even get to the wall. And I said, you gotta be kidding me. And falls right in his glove. And I, and, and I turned to Tommy and kind of started laughing. And uh, you know, just thinking about it, it was like, after that, it had to happen. Like that right there just was a sign that it was gonna happen. As Whelan comes home with his first pitch, it swung on, bounced to Stoneburner, gloves by the knees, he throws to first. And Wheeland has just no hit one of the best teams in all of minor league baseball. Wheeland is getting absolutely mobbed in between the mound and first base. Wheeland has done it tonight in San Antonio. Wheeland has no hit the missions. Just two days after making history in the Alamo City, Wheeland's story took another memorable turn. On July 31st, 2011, Wheeland and teammate Robbie Erlin were traded to the Padres and assigned to San Diego's AA affiliate, the San Antonio Missions. There was a restaurant and it was in the lobby of the Holiday Inn in San Antonio and I was sitting there at a table and Robbie and Joe were sitting at the bar eating lunch, talking, and they're watching ESPN on the TV and they're watching the ticker, right? Because everybody's getting traded. It's We're coming right up on the deadline and I remember thinking about two hours later, boy, that's the last time I'm seeing them as teammates because within two hours, those two guys were, were both traded or at least teammates with the Rough Riders. And then I remember we got on the bus and we drove to the ballpark and those guys had been with the Rough Riders. They're on the Rough Riders bus and now they're getting inside of the ballpark, the Wolf, and they're walking to the other clubhouse. It was the most surreal thing. And that's, that's part of minor league baseball. But I mean, you know there's reasons behind trades. And you, in those situations when the kids are young, you hope it works out for the best for both sides. You know, for the player and for your organization and for the other, for the player leaving. Just a few weeks after the trade, Wheeland was back at Dr. Pepper Ballpark, but this time pitching for San Antonio. It was definitely bizarre seeing Joe pitch against the Rough Riders, especially in Frisco. You might be one of the only guys in the history of major or minor league baseball to no hit a team and then make your next start with that team whom you no hit. What kind of razzing did you take as soon as you walked into the missions clubhouse? Yeah, everybody was kind of excited. Uh, they immediately, I mean, that was, that was kind of the thing. Uh, you know, no hit Joe, no no Joe or everything <laughs> is what they were all saying. But, you know, I mean, they were, they were excited to have me on the team. It wasn't like they were mad at me or anything. Uh, outside of our uh, hitting, hitting coach, Torney, he... Uh, he, on the other hand, walked up to me, shook his hand, and, and said, uh, all right, don't talk to me for a week. From the no-hitter to the trade to coming back to his old stomping grounds all in less than a month, Whelan's journey goes down as one of the most memorable stories in the rich history of the Rough Riders. All of it happened so quickly. I'd never been through anything like that before. It was completely bizarre. Uh, I never would have thought that it would go down like that, but it was, it was pretty cool to just kind of be a fly on the wall and witness all that happening.